Hey fellas, welcome to my playthrough of Our Lady of Sorrow. It's a found footage horror game, windowed, full screen, sound off or on? I mean, why would you... <laughs> why would you have them off? I don't know. Let's play it! Found footage horror game. I love these, I know you do too. This tape and its contents are the property of the Diocese of Redacted. Ow, oh, that static is, uh, really attacking my right ear. Any attempt to copy, re redistribute, or publicly display this tape should be considered dangerous. <laughs> Damn, the FBI has upped their ante. This tape must only be played under the strict supervision of members of the church. I see. Ireland, 1998. This, this static better, uh, chill out soon. Oh, thank God. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's October. How does this look to you guys? This, I mean, holy shit. This is, uh, a whole new level of pixelization, isn't it? No, no sprint button. Kilcree Abbey. Built in 1458 as a monastery, the Abbey has seen many things. Viking raids, fires, rituals, and black masses. The Abbey is best known as the burial site of many famous priests and renowned nuns and people of the Catholic faith. The Great Tower was once used as a lookout. I see. Oh my god! <laughs> Kilcree Abbey. The entrance and other outer walls of the Abbey have been rebuilt many times. We know this by the look and shape of the different stones and how some have been eroded by the elements more than others. Walls that have fallen have been left as is. Archaeologists have found many things between the walls, such as old animal bones, coins, artifacts, and even some small human bone. You guys want to hear something crazy? I'm only bringing this up because this game reminded me of it. Or at least that note, that sign reminded me of it. Um, oh boy. The, uh, the cartel in Mexico stuffs people in drywall. So, like, people have bought homes and they, like, they're looking for a stud in, in behind their walls. And when they like drill into the wall, bone particles start flying out. It's really crazy. I don't know why I thought I should tell you that. I, that's probably not a cool thing to tell people. But now you know. The Abbey is home to many tales and myths from across the centuries. Stories of ancient monks stowed away beneath the mossy stone, buried in prayer. Stories of sieges and bloodshed of the Irish at the hand of English nobles. The most famous story of all is the story of an... of an... Calic? An... An... Calic? Calic? I'm gonna just say Calic. Known to locals as the Lady of Sorrow. Boy, they're really building up this lady, aren't they? We probably can't go straight, but we'll give it a shot. Probably locked. Yeah, okay. So winners always go right, so we're going this way. Boy, another one, huh? Oh, oh my god. The tale of the Lady of Sorrow has been passed down through many years, and the true story is heavily debated amongst local historians. What is common throughout these different tellings is the tale of a young witch who long ago set a curse upon the local priest. The priest roused the locals who burned her alive in the very church that stands upon these grounds. It was said by the locals who watched her burn that the weeping image of the Virgin Mary appeared on her face, and then she cackled as the flames engulfed her. The priest commanded her remains be thrown in the well and the entrance sealed. That well remains sealed to this day. I mean, the moment you put a sign up like that, like, it, 
it would only take about one week before some high schoolers go and flip that lid, right? Ah. That's like the, uh, the beginning of any horror movie ever in the 80s. Oh my god, I can't see a fucking thing. Right click for flashlight. Okay. Is this locked? Locked up tight. Got it. We don't need to go that way. And this flashlight is pointed down. <laughs> Ooh. Very maze-like church, eh? Is this her? Pick up church key. Now, what would you need that for? Yeah? That's mine now. Oh. Hmm. Stay out of my way. <laughs> I'll push you over. Stupid bee. Oh, not that. Not that door. The other one. No disrespect to any uh, Virgin Marys out there, but this is a witch, right? So, like, it's fair game. She's a stupid bitch. How do I use keys? Or maybe that's not the key for that? Hmm. Is it the key for this? Use key. Nice. Lots of, uh, stoned people. Was this the church? <laughs> That's embarrassing. Here is where the image of the Virgin Mary appeared during the burning of the witch. The church long ago placed a statue here. The locals used to hold communion here in hopes she would appear again. Some say that on cold autumn nights, you can faintly smell burning flesh and wood, and sometimes even the cackling of the witch. Gotta be cold in autumn for that to happen. Looks like something fits here. Yeah, but I... I don't have that key item. Alright, so we gotta go look for something. Is this it? The chalice? Oh, I'll take the chalice. How very kind of her to give me everything I need. Wait, let me get a good shot of that. Ah, eh, I guess it's not very good. I don't think anyone who was who would look at that thumbnail would know what that is. Oh, it's full of blood now. I don't suppose the other doors are open, are they? See? Everything I ever need, right there. Thank you so much. I hope this key unlocks this next door, otherwise I have to go all the way over there. Damn, is this game pixelated. Holy shit. What are you guys doing? Is that the well? Ay, my eyes. They hurt. Aha! Thank you. You're so you're so good to me. Oh, she's there. I think she's wailing or something. Somebody's drowning. I don't know what's going on over there. Let's get out of here. We gotta get to that crypt. Hopefully things are more visible there. Turn on music box. Did I turn it on? I've never heard a music box sound like a wind instrument. Um... Alright, there's blood leading somewhere. Oh, here you are. 
give your give your life for us ah give your life away for us is that what it says fuck me you might as well write this in cursive don't let her out oh I gotta go to the well and let her out that's a good hint I believe the well is over here. <laughs> yeah. Enter the well. Oh, fuck. Well, we have to stop her. She keeps stabbing every Mother Mary statue in the church. That's disrespectful. A prayer of protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. Amen. <laughs> I saw a picture of Michael when I was uh, younger. They depicted him stepping on a demon's face. Shadow of thy wings will I take. In the shadow of thy wings will I take revenge? Refuge? Yeah, they show Michael stepping on a demon's head and he's got a badass sword. I remember being a kid and thinking, uh, <laughs> this is not what I know. I mean, it's cool, though. Who wouldn't want to see, as a kid, anyway, who wouldn't want to see, like, angels battling and shit with long swords? And gold armor. Can I help you? Oh, she's gone. Cool. I think a lot of people find religious horror pretty, uh, pretty scary. It's not that I don't. It's just this is found footage. And when you tell me it's found footage, <laughs> I mean, this can only end one way. It's not like I took the tape and I left it at somebody's doorstep and they found it, you know what I mean? More likely than not, it's that the Vatican showed up and they were like, Oh, we gotta do something about this church. Oh, who's this dead guy? And then they found my camcorder. That's what happened. And what crypt is flooded like this? This is terrible. No maintenance at all. What the fuck? He was crawling. Okay. Needs a candle. Needs a candle. So there's probably one on each side. I wonder at what point you, as the player, or not the player, but the character, would go, Man, fuck this. I'm out of here. She just walked through this wall. I probably would have stopped when it was raining. I'd be like, huh. It's raining. I'd better get out of here. I don't want to catch a cold. Let me know when you would stop. <laughs> Pick up candle. Don't mind if I do. Oh, Lord in heaven, I hope there isn't a jump scare soon. That would be quite bad. Huh. Is he gonna show restraint and not jump scare me? I'd be shocked. Seriously. Oh my god. I'm impressed. <laughs> Normally they'd throw something at you. 
Okay. Wow. All right. Place that there. Let me go grab the other one. That's bonus points. All right. In my book, at least. Nineteen ninety-eight. What was I doing in nineteen ninety-eight? Hmm. I was probably watching Dragon Ball Z, to be honest. Not even understanding it, though, but still watching it. Probably eating a lot of powdered gum, which doesn't exist anymore. Probably because it's insanely bad for you to be inhaling powder. Or maybe it was like a gateway into hard drugs somehow. I don't know. This game has me talking about candy in the 90s, alright? We gotta do something here. My commentary won't survive. Something needs to happen. Pray for my commentary. <laughs> I was I was seriously about to talk about these giant pillars, and then I I realized how stupid that would be. <laughs> Man, look at these giant pillars. Candle. That is a pathetic sound for a gate opening. I have a strange, sneaking suspicion that this game will end pretty soon, so... Uh, I'd imagine there's gonna be, like, a super final mega jump scare and then the game ends. That's typically how these things go. So brace yourself. I don't know when it's gonna be, I don't know how long this game is, but... It probably happened right now. Cutscene, huh? Uh oh. Oh my god. And then he died. In the shadow of thy wings will I take refuge. I am a vessel. If God is our father, then Satan must be our cousin. That doesn't make sense. Pray for us. Us? Holy shit. Oh man, I thought... I really thought that was the end. That means we might... We might finally get our super mega jump scare. There's still hope yet. Oh, how kind of them to guide me to it. You fuckers. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh my god, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Come on, game. Ah, I fucking knew it! Yes! <laughs> yes! I'm validated. Hallelujah.
You have reached the end of this tape. Please seek the help of a member of the Catholic Church immediately. What for? We believe this tape to be a vessel, a conduit for the evil spirits to spread their plague. Oh shit. This game is a vessel. <laughs> Please dispose of this tape as soon as possible. She has escaped. How, you wrote this. Please pray with us. I don't know who us is. Thank you for playing. Created by Dan McGrath. That motherfucker. That fucking guy spread the curse, dude. Damn you, Dan. Alright, guys. That was, uh, Our Lady of Sorrow. This is, uh, top five most popular horror games on Itch.io as of right now when I made this video. That's pretty cool. It's everything indie horror games have been for as long as I can remember. Does that mean it's bad? No. This, this will most definitely scare people. Will it scare me? Not really. I just don't particularly find religious figures to be very scary. My weaknesses are things like serial killers and real life events, massacres or home invasions. Those are my weaknesses. I don't particularly find ghosts very scary or demons. I mean, demons can be scary, though. It's just, it depends on how you handle it, really. But for the most part, anything that has to do with, like, the Catholic Church, faith is an exception. But pretty much anything else that deals with Christianity or Catholicism or any other religion, you'd be hard-pressed to find anything that can scare me when it comes to that stuff. I don't find it scary for the same reason that I don't find Chupacabra scary. But that's just me. Maybe it's your thing. Maybe you were scared. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye